So good evening, everyone. I'll be discussing about topic six, other valuation concepts and techniques, which is listen to mergers and acquisitions. Mergers and acquisitions refers to the aspects of strategy, corporate, corporate finance and management dealing with buying, selling, dividing, and combining of different company of similar entities that can help an enterprise grow rapidly and at sectors or location of origin or a new field or a new location without creating subsidiary other child entity or using a joint venture so acquisitions refers to the purchase of one business or company by another company or other business entity this can be done either by purchasing of the assets of the company or by acquiring ownership over 51% of its paid offshore capital. So the basic form of acquisitions, mergers, or consolidation. To the absorption of firm by another. And second is acquisitions of stocks to require another firm to purchase the firm's voting stocks in exchange of cash, shares of stocks, or another securities. And lastly, the acquisitions of assets. It refers to one firm can acquire another firm by buying all of, it, all of its assets. And the best example of acquisition is when Google acquired Motorola in 2010 with all their patents. And in 2014, Lenovo bought Motorola from Google with half of the patent and without their creativity division. So, next is merger. Refers to the mutual collidation of two or more entities to form a new enterprises with a new name. In a merger, multiple companies of selling size agree to integrate of similar size which their operations into a small entity in which there is shared ownership control and profit and example of this is in year 2006 Pixar and Disney merged into one company and type of merger first is the horizontal which means it is a merger of two or more businesses that offer similar product or services and work in the same industry. And second is the vertical, which is a merger between two companies producing different goods or services for one specific finished goods. And lastly, the conglomerate. conglomerate it involves a merger between two businesses that are not related to each other, which is completely different in industries or in different geographical area. So why do companies do mergers and acquisitions? To get, maybe to get technology that other company uses or to easily maintain their competitive advantage strategies such as innovation strategy, operation effectiveness strategy, cost leadership strategy, and differentiation strategy. Also, buying out of company or merging with another can be a good investment when it comes to accomplishing one company's long-term goals. other reason may other major reasons it can improve market shares and visibility re, which is rich new market grow revenue and earn and it can expand their marketing mix developments as they make may expand two companies marketing and distribution as well as giving them wider sales opportunities second is economic scales Bigger company usually place order in buying materials in a larger quantity compared to small one, and it can be definitely save more, more cost. And it can also 
improve purchasing power to buy equipment or office supplies, which means when you place a larger orders, that particular company will have a crisis with their suppliers. And lastly, the defensive strategy. Firing redundant workers can be a reduce of debt. So, reason why merging mergers and acquisition fail. It might overpaying. Most attractive target companies operate under the assumption that everything is for sale at the right price. This effectively translates to the business is always for sale when a buyer is willing to overpay. And also the overestimating synergies. The it inherent in a transaction is often the first step in overpaying. Also, the third one is the insufficient due diligence. The more uncomplimentary the information, the more target company teams is likely to withhold and or explain it away. It, in extreme cases, this can be lead to the failure of transaction in a long-term run. So, also the misunderstanding the target company. It gives you the best opportunity to do so, but there is a plenty of cases when even a lengthy period of due diligence does, doesn't let you know what makes a company think. And lastly, the lack of strategic plans. A good why is an essential component of all successful M&A transactions. That is, without a good move motives for transaction, it's a doom to failure from the outset. And in conclusion, the bigger the company, the higher the opportunity in the market share and the capital, and the bigger challenger a company needs to face. So, thank you, and that's all for my reporting as for tonight.